right, guys, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. I've been waiting for it myself. Inside this box is something absolutely, totally awesome from Spirit Halloween. And if you have eyes, you've probably looked at the box and seen what it is just by the markings on the front. But we're going to open it right now, and I'm going to show you what it is. And then we are going to set it up right here right now if i can get the box open <laughs> okay i am totally excited this is one that i've been wanting to buy for a while guys and i just never did it and i finally decided to do it because i saw it again on spirits website so i went ahead and bought it and hold on till i get it out of the box it's probably upside down now but here we go oh come on <laughs> Yes, it is upside down. So here it is. It is Sam, the trick-or-treat Sam. And as far as I know, he comes with both the burlap head and the rotten pumpkin head. We're going to find out in just a minute because we're going to open him up and we're going to set him up right after this. Right. Yes, I am so excited, guys. Let's just take a look at the box here for a minute. On the front, it says, Movie Audio accompanies Sam's wrist movement with stabbing arm motion. And what that means is this arm right here that's holding the sucker, as we know that we've seen in the stores, the Spirit Halloween stores, so many times, his arm just goes up and down and up and down. Masked and unmasked heads. So, yes. We do have the burlap sack head and the rotting pumpkin head. Also comes with the lollipop and the burlap sack that we see in his hand right there. Infrared sensor activated, stands 4.3 feet tall. So he's just over four feet tall. On the side here, we have a picture of him with the rotting pumpkin head. On the back, it simply says, Sam. <laughs> And on the side, we have a picture of the rotting pumpkin head and the burlap head. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and get him open. I honestly don't recall hearing anything about how easy or difficult he is to set up. As with every one, we have the instructions, and they are great with their instructions. I say it every time we set up an animatronic. Here is Sam's clothes. That is too dang funny right there. I think that's like his butt flap or something. All right, we got probably Sam's shoulders. We have a Sam arm with his burlap sack. We have Sam's head. <laughs> and that's funny. It is just a big foam ball in there. I actually was wondering before I saw this if the, uh, the rotting pumpkin head was actually underneath this head, but it's not. This is its own big foam burlap sack head and let's see we have sam's other arm i think this is hilarious like look how tiny his hand is compared to mine wait a minute his sucker is his sucker broken uh-oh all right wait a minute we got a couple parts here i hope the sucker's not broken this must be part of his clothes or something okay here's the sucker the top to his sucker I don't think it's broken. I think it just slides right in there. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that works. Maybe we'll put some glue on there or something. Or maybe not. Maybe we want that to come apart when we put it away so that it won't break the stick. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And let's see. We have a couple more pieces, parts here. And one of them is... The rotting pumpkin head. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so creepy. Let's get a little better picture here. Look at how creepy that head is. It is a rotting pumpkin head. Hello, sir. You have no nose. What in the world? <laughs> All right, let's get the final pieces out here. Apparently they're connected to the box somehow. This must be the power cord. He's attached inside the box with like twist ties. Okay, there we go. There's the final parts. And this is, wait, this is attached to. All right, so we got the base. 
and we have the torso and moving mechanism. Okay, so I took a minute here to get everything out on a table kind of organized to make it a little easier here because I had just piled everything up when I took it out of the box. Let me just make sure we have everything. We got the base, we got the two legs, we have the body part, whatever you call it. We got this thing here. We have the power cord. We have head number one, head number two. All right, we got some foam pieces that I tossed back in the box but I'll pull those out when we need them. Arm one, arm two, body form thingy-majig, and Sam's clothes. So it appears that we have everything we need and we can get started building this guy. Okay, we'll start building them up here and then we'll set them down on the ground. So first things first. All right, so this is the front. So this leg pole goes on there. This leg pole goes on there. Clothes go on next. Pretty nifty little outfit you got there, Sam. So this is going to be the front. Each foot has a hole so it can go down over the legs. All right. Sam, you thought you were going to have me tricked. You thought wrong, buddy. Okay, there's that. Next up is the body part. Can't snap in there. All right, here we go. There's that. Pull these up a little bit. Then we have this over this whole thing, I guess. A little Sam vest. And we have this arm. We gotta put it in here first. Sam, you little trickster. Okay. All right, there's that one. All right, stay in there. Okay, then we got lollipop arm. We're getting there. In a minute, what the? Come on, Sam, I don't love this. <laughs> I gotta straighten that up a little bit. Oh, pfft. I forgot to put the foam things on the legs. Okay. Hold on, I gotta take them apart. Okay, now we put the legs on. I knew I was going to forget these things. All right, there we go. That's what gives him his legs. So we can't forget the foam. Okay, back to business. Now we can put this on. Okay. Why does it have to be difficult? This is like trying to dress a real kid. All right. Oh my gosh. This stupid little foam shirt thing makes it so difficult. It's just like an extra piece that doesn't even need to be there. Somehow. <sighs> okay, so there he is so far. So next we need to get this plugged in before we put the head on. <laughs> Okay, I want to make sure he's going to work before I sealed him up back here. That scared the crap out of me. He's so loud. We got Velcro in the back here. Okay, so now it's time for the head. Let's start with the burlap head right now. All right, there we go. We got him. Plug him in and get him going. Now, when I come around front, he's going to go off. In fact, I'm just going to go... <laughs> swap out the head and we'll give him the rotten pumpkin head here oh it's bouncy <laughs> okay here we go i will say this first before i get him going i think we need to put something in his bag like it doesn't look like there's a way to open it up but i might have to cut it down the back and put something in there maybe his other head just so that he has something in his sack <laughs> I 
cannot believe how loud he is. Like when you're in the store and you're looking at him, you can hear him, but you've got so many other sounds going on. The music up above, the other people in the store, the other animatronics, just everything in there. And it's not half this loud. But in my house, he is super loud. All right, let's get a good look at him here, head to toe. So like I said, the feet, he doesn't actually have feet, like plastic feet. You can see it's just a one-piece suit that he wears, and the feet have foam in them. So if you ever would need to, you can actually replace that foam. I forgot the, uh, the foam leg pieces at first, but as you saw, we took them apart and put those in there. So now his legs don't look like toothpicks. So he has his uh, sucker here. And then we've got the head on of the rotting pumpkin. This guy is so cool. And yeah, looking at his bag down here, it's just kind of funny to me that there's nothing in it. I mean, there should have at least been some kind of foam or something in that bag, don't you think? So I think what I'm going to have to do is like cut it open and just put something in there, even if it's just little cardboard boxes or something. So he has something in his bag. So let's get a good look at his face here. Look at those eyes. Look at those teeth. His teeth are actually pretty dang clean for being a rotten pumpkin head. I don't think he needs the Aquafresh, but I do think it's funny how he doesn't have a nose. Like, <laughs> his nose is just a flat little triangle there. And on top of his head, he doesn't have a stem either. I thought that was kind of funny. So this is what he looks like from behind. I know we got our light up here, so it's kind of difficult to see. But, uh... The uh, lollipop here, this part just actually comes off. And that's probably on purpose so that it doesn't break while you're storing him. But give me a minute, we'll put the other head on here. I want to tell you this first, though, before we put that other head on. Most of the other animatronics that I have, when you put their head on, it kind of locks into place. And there's nothing that locks into place with this guy. It's just a little uh, pipe sticking out there, I guess, if you want to call it that. Same with the burlap head, it does not lock into place, but it's not going anywhere. And his head doesn't move, his jaw doesn't move, so there's no wires to plug into his head. All right, and there he is with his burlap head, and he looks pretty dang cool. This is such an awesome little prop. It just literally looks like a little kid dressed up as Sam going out to trick-or-treat, and then he decides to murder you. All right, guys, well, there he is. One last look. He is pretty dang cool. Let's change the head one more time. There we go. Back to the burlap head. All right, there you go. Sam Animatronic from Spirit Halloween. I've been waiting to set him up for a while now and wanting him for even longer. If you love this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment below. Very soon, we're going to be putting together even more animatronics.